Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. What about storage considerations? You know, uh, coring bins, making sure your, your, your corn has the ability, you know, to, uh, to store for through the winter. Yeah, so once it's gone through the dryer, uh, we cool it out and then it's put into uh, storage bins for short term or possibly long term storage. Uh, you know, you, you've got a certain quality there. In order to uh, maximize the aeration capability of your system, uh, when you put corn into a bin, the fines tend to congregate in the center of the bin. And if they're left there, in other words, you don't do anything about it, uh, the, air's gonna, the aeration air is going to take the easiest way through that bin, which is around the edges or the outside of the bin, because the fines in the center impede airflow, and the air takes the path of least resistance. By coring the bin, you do two things. One, you establish the flow funnel, in other words, it's going down through the unloading grate at the bottom of the bin. And second, you remove or, uh, yeah, you remove most of the fines in the center of the bin. Ideally, you'd like to see that uh, material cleaned and then put back in the bin. Uh, practically, you could take that material out, put it right back in that same bin. The fact that you've moved it out of the bin and back in, the, uh, the problem with the fines is less severe than if you hadn't cored the bin at all. What about your bins? I mean, what type of diligence should growers be doing to check out those bins before you start loading them up? Um, ideally, uh, you know, the, the bin should be cleaned as much as possible. And one of the things we talk about is cleaning underneath the floor. Not many people do it because if you, if you find a problem, you really have to deal with it. So I had a farmer call me yesterday. They cleaned out their... They lifted the floor and uh, to see what was uh, underneath there because they had some drying concerns and this is what they have. It's a, a drying bin, has a full aeration floor and we had about uh, a foot of material in the bottom of the bin. It hadn't been cleaned likely in 20 years. Uh, that material in addition to occupying space there which restricts airflow to some extent, um, there's also a whole colony of insects that are living in this material so uh, you know if you don't have bugs in your new crop uh, they may be living under the floor and just waiting for that new new source of dinner to show up and then they just move upstairs uh, so cleaning the bin uh, maintains airflow underneath the floor and may evict some of your uh, storage pests that you've had from last year or the year before that or the year before that so great stuff well Helma, thank you so much for your, uh, your thoughts today, um, and we wish all corn growers good luck with getting those combines going. Thanks again. Okay.